Bemid Bar Numbers 30. And Moshe spoke unto the heads of the tribes concerning the children of Yashadael, saying, This is the thing which Yahuwah has commanded. If a man vow a vow unto Yahuwah, or swear an oath to bind his soul with a bond, he shall not break his word, he shall do, according to all that proceeds out of his mouth. If a woman also vow a vow unto Yahuwah, and bind herself by a bond, being in her father's house in her youth, and her father here at her vow, and her bond wherewith she has bound her soul, and her father shall hold his peace at her, then all her vows shall stand, and every bond wherewith she has bound her soul shall stand. But if her father disallow her in the day that he hears not any of her vows or of her bonds wherewith she has bound her soul shall stand, and Yahuwah shall forgive her, because her father disallowed her. And if she had at all a man when she vowed, or uttered out, rather, or uttered aught out of her lips, wherewith she bound her soul, and her man heard it, and held his peace at her in the day that he heard it, then her vows shall stand, and her bonds wherewith she bound her soul shall stand. But if her man disallowed her on the day that he heard it, then he shall make at her vow which she vowed, and at that which she uttered with her lips, wherewith she bound her soul, of no effect. And Yahuwah shall forgive her. But every vow of a widow, and of her that is divorced, wherewith they have bound their souls, shall stand against her. And if she vowed in her man's house, or bound her soul by a bond with an oath, and her man heard it, and held his peace at her, and disallowed her not, then all her vows shall stand, and every bond wherewith she bound her soul shall stand. But if her man has utterly made them void on the day he heard them, then whatsoever proceeded out of her lips concerning her vows, or concerning the bond of her soul, shall not stand. Her man has made them void, and Yahuwah shall forgive her. Every vow and every binding oath to afflict the soul, her man may establish it, or her man may make it void. But if her man altogether hold his peace at her from day to day, then he establishes at all her vows, or at all her bonds, which are upon her. He confirms them, because he held his peace at her in the day that he heard them. But if he shall anyways make them void after that he has heard them, then he shall bear at her iniquity. These are the statutes which Yahuwah commanded at Moshe, between a man and his woman, between the father and his daughter, being yet in her youth, in her father's house.